Hi there, it's Felix here from FelixGPhoto.com and today as part of my ongoing interview series I'll be introducing you to yet another local El Paso photographer. Although to be fair, it's a bit of a stretch to label Claude Rocha as a local photographer. I met Claude at a local restaurant where he was waiting tables and he commented on my Leica t-shirt. I turned to my dad who I was having dinner with and I said, that guy is a photographer. Claude and I exchanged contact information and social media pages and when I checked out his Instagram I was totally blown away. This guy is a super talented photographer and he has a large following on Instagram. As of the filming of this interview he has close to 7,000 followers. That's a lot for a photographer on Instagram. As I previously mentioned it's difficult to label Claude Rocha as a local photographer. He loves to travel the world and he photographs some of the most scenic destinations the world has to offer. His eye for beauty is matched only by his passion for the art of photography. He captures stunning time lapses and has been experimenting with a new photography software called Plotograph. And you'll get to see some examples of that right here in this video. So with that, let's get to know Claude Rocha. Yeah, uh, my name is Claude Roche. I'm from all over, grew up on the East Coast, lived in California, Colorado, uh, in between. Now I'm here in El Paso. I love being outdoors. I love hiking. Uh, I have one more continent left to visit, and that's Antarctica. My family had this some little cheap 90s film camera, like every family did. And pretty much, I think we went on a whaling trip outside in Nantucket. And I went through like three f rolls of film. My mom was yelling at me because I shot, you know, close to 100 photos of whales from, <laughs> from like, you know, 300 feet away. So the photos you can't really see much, like maybe a little bit of the whale tail breaching, but that's it. And. <laughs> You know, if I think about it logically, that's probably where I, uh, I was like, oh, this is, this is cool. I kind of like that sort of chase of um, seeing something you want to capture and then going for it. Uh, I shoot on a Nikon D7000, mostly for portraiture or any fast moving stuff. Then for landscape, I use a Fuji X-T1 with a 10 to, 10 to 24. Uh, this Fuji sensor's got really nice colors and it's really good for landscape and outdoors. The way it reproduces greens and things like that, I, th I feel it's really good. And then I also shoot on, on a Panasonic LX100, the little pocket 4K camera, uh, it could do some really sweet stuff. Mostly if I'm shooting landscapes, I really like a small person in like a giant space with a giant landscape. Kind of almost like that sort of um, astronaut on Mars kind of feel, where it's just this tiny person, you really get the idea of how big space and, and the world around him is. I, I guess that's because I feel the same way about life. Like I'm a little traveler in a giant, giant universe. Probably New Zealand. I hear really good things in New Zealand. Trey Ratcliffe moved over there, probably for the same reason. <laughs> yeah, that seems like a really cool spot. Mountains, lakes, ocean, just freaking paradise. Uh, a lot of engagement. Instagram's all about engagement and reaching out to people and posting daily consistency. It's just post every single day. Just have a huge client list that is kind of travel centric so that you can go everywhere around the world, do what you love, see the world, get paid for it.
I hope you enjoyed getting to know Claude Rocha. You can follow him on Instagram at Captain underscore Santa underscore Claude or check him out on 500px at 500px slash Claude Rocha Photography. Thanks for watching. Be sure to take a moment and like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned for more great photography videos right here at Felix G Photo.